Hello beautiful flowers and welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome and thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, welcome back and thank you for your support. So in today's video, we are going to be doing our weekly check-in. This is our first weekly check-in of May and this is going to be taking us from April 30th. So finally getting that last day of April taken care of. And this is going to, um, we're going to check our expenses all the way through May 6th. So the very first full week. So let's go ahead, dive right in and see how much I overspent this week. <laughs> So I am not gonna lie you guys, it's not gonna be pretty this week. It is not gonna be pretty at all. So let me open up to our May spread and we are working with the April 30th. So we are gonna be doing, do I even have any expenses? Oh, I have like one expense on the 30th. <laughs> so we'll finish up down there and then we will go all the way through the 6th, which is today when I am filming this. So let's start laying down some stickers. So I'm gonna go back to April here to get this very last date, it's kind of off screen, so I'll go like this. So the only thing I had on April 30th was a, oh, two things. I got a, um, I finally was around for one of NRAD's um, drops. Um, she makes the cutest items and I will link her website down below but I was finally able to pick up one of her like binder planners. I got an A5 planner cover from her. So I'm super, super, super excited. It is in the mail now, super excited. Oh, I forgot to say I have my iced chai. I found this cute little, you'll see this purchase later on <laughs> in the video, but I found this cute little mug. I can't tip it too much because my chai will fall out, but it has M on it for Michelle. And it just has my, I love, love, love the spicy chai mix from Trader Joe's. I just went to Trader Joe's for the first time this week and I found that spicy chai and it was so good. We That's when I went to, I went to Trader Joe's on Saturday as well, but that was in cash, so I don't have a sticker for it. But then I also took a friend out for lunch on Saturday and I paid for both of our lunches. So it was 65, it was lunch and drinks and stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of money. Um, it was just at a local brewery. So it was 65 bucks for that. Moving on to May 1st, we have, let me just say, I do not think there's a single day this week where I did not spend. So I don't think we'll really be able to use our no spend stickers this week. Um, okay, so on the 1st, this was a fun date day for me and Zach. So we got Jimmy John's for lunch. That was 17 bucks. I got, we got scooters for breakfast. <laughs> and listen, I don't want anyone in the comments to say anything about the eating out, okay? I know it's an issue. <laughs> We've been known. We have been known that is an issue. We got scooters for breakfast. Then we went to the movies. We saw the latest, um, Fantastic Beast movie, which I know some people were boycotting. Um, I get it, but I just, I love the movie so much. I just can't. It was pretty good. They replaced um, Johnny Depp's role. They replaced his character of Grindelwald. And so the guy who did it did an okay job. Let me know if you saw the latest Fantastic Beast movie and what you think of the of Johnny Depp's replacement. I think he did okay. It was definitely a very different Grindelwald, but this is not a movie critiquing channel. <laughs> this is a financing channel. So we had our movie date, dinner, and, uh, not dinner, snacks, and the movie tickets were $40 altogether. You know how expensive movie places are. And then the last expense of that day was we were waiting around for the movie to start between when we got into town and you know when it started and i stopped at michael's and i was like not looking for anything in particular but there was this cup and it was originally like 15 bucks but it was on sale for eight sorry take a sip it's so good the iced chai okay and that is it for the first i am so lucky i had even enough space on that box to put it in and actually the only expense we had on the second was our i totally forgot about this our costco renewal our membership for Costco renewed. So that is 60 bucks. We just have the basic. I've been considering getting the, the bigger one, but I don't know. I probably always tell me at the renewal time, they always come up and hassle you and they're, uh, they're like, or is it hustle? They hustle you? I don't know, but they come up and they're like, you get the premium membership. And I'm like, 
I'm just gonna stick with the $60 one. <laughs> okay, so then on the, oh shoot, that's not the only thing, we went to Fairway. Because I spent all my grocery money on snacks at Trader Joe's, we didn't actually have actual like food in the house. So we went to Fairway for 37. So all my grocery money is spent, so I don't know where that's 37 is coming from. We're gonna improvise. Okay, on the third, Zach went to, or no, I went to Walmart because I did not have a Baby Yoda shirt for May the 4th, which is Star Wars Day. So I went and got a Baby Yoda shirt and I also saw a pair of pajamas, some pajamas, a set of pajamas that I wanted. So it was $17 for that, all that. So that's coming out of clothing. And then uh, we ate out that night as well. Hey, but listen, we didn't eat out the night before, so I'll count that as a win. It's not every night, you guys, just most nights. Okay, <laughs> and then that's it for the third. On the fourth was a huge spending day for us because you guys, I have not filmed any videos since this happened, but I announced that we finally got an accepted offer on a house. I am so excited. It is a little bit above what I was wanting to spend, but in this market, you just kind of have to act on anything you like. So um, we're paying a bit more for it than I want to, but we will make do. So we put down our earnest money for $2,000. So we dropped off our earnest money check. And so it's like another big step in kind of sealing the deal saying, I'm serious about this house offer. So earnest money was, and they actually cashed it already on the day on the day on Friday today. So it's out of our bank account. So I'm going to pull in that out of our house fund. So then also on the Oh, then Zach, we started to get stuff for Mother's Day. So we stopped at Hy-Vee for um, a nice bottle of wine for Zach's mom. That's well, nice for us. $25 is a lot for a bottle of wine for us. Um, and then we stopped at Target for a few things for her as well. It was $52. And then we also ate out that night. I know, I know, I know. We got Freddy's for 26 bucks, but listen, hey, we didn't get it delivered. We actually went and got it ourselves. So that is initiative, I would say. And then let me flip my cheat sheet over. Um, Zach got gas. He put $50 in his tank. He didn't fill it up all the way. And I said, why didn't you fill it up all the way? We had $65 set aside for this. And he's like, I don't know. I thought we only had 50. So then the next day I put 15 into my tank. So, um, cause we had 65 set aside for gas this week. So Zach put 50 in and then I decided, okay, I'll use the last 15 on mine cause someone's got to use it. And then I did some more mother's day shopping. So I, on Amazon, I spent $20 on that for my mother and then I spent another 20 on Amazon for um I wanted so I'm putting together a planner an A5 size planner obviously because I got that Benrad A5 planner that she made um so I needed A5 blank sheets of paper that were like a little thicker than normal paper so I could use it in my printer to print off planner pages because I didn't want to just buy pre-printed ones I just thought oh why not buy a, a template and then I can just print the pages myself save a little bit of money maybe okay and then finally oh no also we spent a hundred dollars on um so Zach's stepmother lives in Arizona and we didn't feel like shipping a present down there so we always send her flowers so we send her flowers and then whatever like usually the flower online flower companies will have like you can send a box of chocolates or like a stuffed animal or something like that so between that and a little gift that the company just sent it's a hundred dollars for all of that so we're um getting that for Zach's stepmother so that's coming out of mother's day and finally the most unexpected purchase of them all we needed more printer ink we were desperate for ink for our printers so i said you know what i'm just gonna order a ton of ink $200 worth. <laughs> so yes, I spent $200 on ink and I do not know what fund it's going to come out of. So now that we have all of our stickers laid down, let's go ahead and get out my wallet and all of my sinking funds up here and my cash tray and let's get to pulling money out. I am not going to lie you all. I have been dreading this. I have been absolutely dreading pulling this cash out because I just, the amount of overspending I did was insane. So let's start on that April 30th with this Benrad purchase for 
I'm gonna look in my shop small envelope and see how much I have. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to, I think I have at least 40 in there. So let's pull that out. Let's get the things we do know that I have money for. All right, so I do have 40 in here to cover that purchase. So that feels good at least. And that was on May 30th. So um, I'm gonna put bin rad, minus 40. And I will have a link to her shop. She does drops, I think about once a week or once every two weeks. All right, so we should have 11 left and we do. Um, but yeah, her stuff goes fast y'all because it's so cute. Um, you know, from all of the reviews I've seen, the quality is amazing. She's such a sh boss. Like, I just love her. So I love all of her, her materials. And I see other people in the budgeting community use them and I'm just like, wow, like I want one of those. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to come back to friend lunch because I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and see what we can do for Costco renewal. I'm going to take that out between my Costco fund and my subscriptions. So let's see how much I have in Costco itself. Probably only like 20 some bucks. 10, 15, 16, 17, we have $18. So let me get my little calculator. So 60 minus 18, we need 42 bucks. So I'm going to put on here on 5-2 membership minus 18 that and get out my bills binder oh I should put my 18 that I have in here beautiful and let's see how much we have in subscriptions and then the rest is going to have to come out of miscellaneous I'm guessing Oh, we have 46. Oh, we have just enough. One, two, oh, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, one, and two. So we only have $3 left over. So we're going to have to stuff subscriptions quite a bit this week to make up for that. So five, two, Costco, mem. Minus 42. We should have four, almost wrote 44. That'd be nice. $4 left. Awesome. Well, not awesome, but awesome that it matches. Okay, so there's Costco taken care of. Okay, what else can we do? Our earnest money. So I can go ahead and get my savings book out and pull out. I need, I already have 2000 that I transferred over from our savings to our checking. So we do have $1,000 slips in here. So I'm gonna be pulling two of those thousand dollar slips out let's just go ahead and grab these two here it's such a bummer but it is what we saved up for so that was on the fourth five four i'm gonna put our earnest money our earnest check i guess so we should be down to 3150 so the rest of the money in here will go towards closing costs on our mortgage um, and those have been estimated to be about 2100 I think. Um, obviously, things change over time, but they are estimated to be about $2,100. So we will have a little bit left over to help go towards our down payment. And also, we had money, I've said this before, but we've had money um, set aside beforehand, like a lot of money for a down payment. Um, so that'll also be going towards that. Okay, so let's go ahead and do gas next because I know I have the exact amount for that. You see how I'm tiptoeing around all these hard decisions. So gas, we did 50 and 15. So that should be the full 65 that we have here that needs to come out. All right, so 20, 40, 50, 55, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I have been asked before um, why I pull the cash out for gas if I'm just going to use my card. And I've said this a few times, but I'm more than happy to repeat it. Um, taking the cash out um, makes it so I don't see it in my account. And if I don't see that money in my account, I feel like I'm less likely to spend it. Now that's not true for every week. You can see I make big <laughs> impulsive purchases, you know, every once in a while. Um, and that's just part of learning and growing and budgeting. So I won't um, dwell on it too much, but yeah, just not seeing the money in my account helps. I don't know what it is for some people having the cash doesn't help <laughs> um you know 
So for some people, seeing the money in the account helps. So to each their own, this is what works for me. All right, then we're gonna do, let's go ahead and do this Michaels one. That's gonna be out of my YouTube fund because I am pretty much using this for YouTube. Um, that ice chai is so good, you guys. Um, okay, so let's get my YouTube fund, which is in this one. And yeah, because I initially bought it like, oh, that'd be really cute to have in my videos. Yes, I'm gonna use it outside my videos, but I also thought, wait, is it not in here? Oh, it is in here. All right, eight bucks out of this thing. Uh, we had so close to being able to call it exactly the eight. So 10 minus two is eight dollars. So that was on five one. I'm gonna put my little mug cup thing. What's 32 minus eight? 24. 20, one, two, three, four. Yay. So that is good to get out of the way. And then we can also get my fun fund out of here. My $40 for our little movie date. And I'm pretty sure we have exactly 40 in our fund, which we do. I made it a point. Like after we got our tickets, they were 20 bucks. I'm like, okay, we only have 20 bucks to spend on snacks. So, which is, it's hard to do when you are at the movies. Snacks are expensive. All right, so our fun fund is empty. So sad. Okay, um, we did pay our rent of 880. And that was just prop money. So, oh, Mother's Day, let's do that because we can do that. <laughs> so our Mother's Day, we have 25 for this high V. We have 52 for Target, 20 for Amazon, and 100 for the flowers. So 197 is what we have spent so far. Um. Oh, I didn't even put it on here, but we spent $3 on cards because we get them from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to put it on here. Plus cards, 28. Even though it wasn't at Hy-Vee, I know it. We got $3 worth of cards. Um, not the Dollar Tree. Um, Trader Joe's has them for a dollar. That's where I got them because we were just shopping and I was like, oh, Mother's Day cards. I should get them. So Mother's Day is in the back here. This is what we've been saving for, folks. This is what this Mother's Day fund is for, $197, but we're, it's uh, plus $3, so we need exactly $200. So 200 smackaroos coming out of Mother's Day, and I don't have a tracker for Mother's Day for some reason. Probably because it's like a one-time fund. Um, I'm not going to spend out of it multiple times. So we are $40 under budget for Mother's Day, so we, if I need to pick up anything last minute, we can do, oh, you know what? Zach is going to pick up um, flowers for his mom on mother's day so that'll cover that but i don't think they'll be 40 dollars. so yeah okay um we might have come to the point where i have to face the facts oh no we can do clothing still <laughs> you guys i'm literally finding any excuse which one's clothing in to not go beyond what i have to okay clothes 17 dollars 20 so let's take three one two Three. Hey, at least I'm not having to worry about ones this time. So that was on the third. I'm going to put baby Yoda. Yoda shirt. Plus pajamas, but I know. So that should be $4 left. Which we do. And now I have a cute baby Yoda shirt I can wear to bed. I don't really wear t-shirts like out and about okay so let's go ahead and see the damage for eating out so we had back in april we had that 65 dollar friend lunch we had jimmy john's we had scooters we had eating out on i don't even know what we got we had freddy's so 162 great and keep in mind, we have no money in our groceries fund because I used cash. So, 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So we still need 92 bucks. So what fund is going to sacrifice itself? Let's see. I have nothing left in spending. Oh, great. All of my... 
all the envelopes are empty. So we need 92 bucks. So give me a minute and I'm going to figure out where to pull the money from. All right, you guys probably aren't gonna agree with this, but I think the fun that I'm willing to, you know, kind of part ways with a little money is my gifts fund. It has gotten up to 140 and um, I'm just gonna pull um, $40 from it. And then I have two other funds that I'm gonna pull 20 from. Oh no, I'm gonna pull 50 from gifts and then $20, no, 52 from gifts. <laughs> Sorry, I keep changing my mind. 52 from, excuse me, from gifts and then $20 from two other funds and that'll cover what we need. So this sucks, you guys. Don't, don't overspend like I did. I don't know what, I'm gonna have to change some, something to make it so I don't do this next week. So that was on, I'm just gonna put, um, five, six, which is today. I'm gonna put um, um, eating out overspent. So minus 52. So we had 140 minus our 52, which is 88. And I would take more, but I do have my mother's birthday and my sister's birthday coming up. So 50, 70, 85, 6, 7, 8. So we at least have a little bit in there. I know what I'm getting my mom for her birthday, uh, but I don't know I know what I'm getting my sister. Okay, so then we are gonna take, I hardly ever spend out of these, so we're gonna take 20 out of household and 20 out of beauty. So five, six, eat out, overspend, minus 20. So we should have 32, 10, 20, 25, 31, and two. This is such a bummer. I'm like beating myself up about this. Like, I can't believe I did this. It's like, I've almost considered like not even like showing this on. I was like, uh, I was about to be like, oh, I just took money out of funds and, you know, kind of covered it up. But, you know, gotta be real and show. I have my weak moments. So we should have 38 left in beauty. 20, 35, six, seven, eight. So yeah, a bit of a setback in these funds, but it is what it is. And that's not even all the funds that we have to take money out of. So we did friends lunch. This did take care of quite a bit of my spending this week though, all of that. So the last two things that I don't know what to do is our ink for 200 and we had a fairway grocery cost for 37. Um, so let me take a minute and think about what I'm going to do here. All right, I have made a decision. I hate, hate, hate to dip into my savings, but I don't want to take any money on my sinking funds, be more, any more money on my sinking funds because I have those set for specific things. However, a lot of my savings has gone kind of un... I don't know, like I haven't specified anything for it. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be emptying out my weight loss and seeing how much I have in there. And then we need we need $237 because I need 37 for Fairway and I need 200 for my ink. So let's just see how much we have in weight loss. So, and then we'll see what else I need. So we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 192, 93. So 237 minus 93, so we need 144. And I think I'm gonna take that out of my likes challenge. Ugh, this sucks, you guys. I hate this so much. Ugh, this really, really, really sucks. So 144, I'm gonna take the smaller bills. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, I really, really hate this. I'm so upset with myself. I can't believe I am doing this. I'm just gonna continue to beat myself up, you guys. I hope you know that. Uh, okay, so let's make sure we have um, 237 here. So 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Okay. We do have 237. 
and I am going to take a minute and I do have, there's quite a few large bills here that I want to exchange. So I'm going to go ahead and exchange those really quick and I'll be right back. All right. So I did a bit of exchanging and I think I might've messed up one thing in the process. So we'll see what happens. So let's go ahead and total up all of my expenses to see how much we should have in cash over here. And it's going to be a ton. So let me calculate here. Enjoy the calculator ASMR. So 2,849, but obviously 2,000 of that is in prop money. So let's close this guy up and let's see if we are close at all or if I messed up my exchange enough. Um, I was able to exchange quite a bit in my savings challenges, which I know I only am really supposed to do at every quarter, but I just thought, why not? So we have 2,000 in... 1k slips so it'll be going back into my 1k slip pile so we should have 849 let's see 51 20 40 60 82 20 40 60 83 20 40 60 80 400 20 40 60 85 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 600 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 700. Let's get with the rest of this. So we're at 700. So we should have $149 here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. So 49, I don't know if this is $49. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we're at 2,828. So let me redo my calculations real quick and we'll see what happens. Well, y'all, I spent about 20 minutes looking through everything, re-watching footage, but I cannot find where I went wrong. I'm off $21. I'm just going to take the loss. <laughs> All of my sinking funds, I think, are correct. Um, I must have been during my bill swap, so I'll just look really carefully. I'm editing to see what I can do to find where that $21 is supposed to come from. But yeah, for now, we'll just call it good because this has been a really rough week for me. Even though we won, you know, won, we had an accepted offer. You know, an accepted offer truly is where the process begins for home buying. Like, there's so much that comes after it that I just was not expecting. And if you would be interested at all in like a video, I can show my face, I guess, if you'd be really interested. Um, but just interested in the whole like my home buying process and stuff like that. Um, if you'd be interested in a video, let me know and if you want to leave me some comments I can answer about my home buying process or just the home buying process in general, leave me some comments down below. I would really appreciate that because I'm really considering doing one. So if I get enough questions, I will make a video um, and I can even do a face reveal if you want. So leave me the questions about home buying process. I'm not an expert, but I can just tell you what I've been through. <laughs> so yeah, that is all I have. Thank you so much for sticking with me <laughs> through all of this, this crazy week. I really appreciate your support, you guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.